Um, okay, good question. How long do you think it's going to take for inflation to come down to 2%? I think it's going to happen in the next six months. I think it's going to happen in the next six months. What will end up happening is it's kind of like a Texas Hold'em right now and or a game of chicken. And buyers going by <laughs> until they can't buy no more. And then that's what's going to cause prices to come down. Also, like another reason why I like to do this show is because I want to educate as many people about what's going on out there. Because the reason that home prices from a wholesale perspective, like when I buy distressed properties, the reason why they're still overpriced is because there's so many uneducated buyers still willing to buy at the other numbers. How are they making money? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're running their numbers against. I don't know. That's my opinion, but I think that we'll get the we'll get to 2%. So um it'll be like a sharp, sharp drop off like it's it's going to freeze up like people aren't going to be able they're we're going to run out of buyers who can afford houses at these numbers. And the Fed is going to keep rates high. Until people start saying, okay, I really have to drop the prices of these homes. I have to drop the, as a seller, I have to drop these prices. I have to drop these prices to get this deal done because there's not a lot of people out there. Like this article says, not a lot of people out there that can do deals at, or they can buy a home above $2,000 a month mortgage payment for my, in my case, like as investors, we have a hard line we can't cross before a deal no longer makes sense. And so if we really run our numbers properly, the market will price itself to where, to where those deals will make sense. Mortgage, like I've refied a couple of properties and like my mortgages are crazy high. And so if you run your numbers according to what the mortgages are going to be at today's rates or what you think they're going to be in a couple of months, once you back into your number, that property, you can no longer buy that distressed property at $70,000, $50,000. You're going to be like, 40, run me that property. And then the seller's going to be like, no, it's got some money. And they're going to run into somebody else and somebody else is going to be like, no, 40. And then that's going to be, that's how it's going to work. That's how markets work. If you want to learn more about real estate, go to the link down below. I got so many goodies for you. So, so, so many goodies for you. If you learned something today, make sure you share this with your friends. This is imagine the clappy emoji. After we get off, share this with your friends. Share it with your friends. Live long and for real, for real, prosper. For real, financially prosper. In your health and your spirit and all that stuff. Love you guys.